Okay, now we're going to have decimal, I mean, we're going to have percents, and we're going to move our percent to a fraction. Okay, first of all, let me move this to a decimal. Yesterday, we saw how to do decimals to fractions. So first of all, today, I'm going to go percent to decimal, and then I'm going to go from decimal to fraction. All right, so that's one way. I'm going to show you guys a different way how to do it in a minute, okay? So let me do my first two questions that way. So 19 and 20, let me do it that way. Let me go from percent to decimal, and then from decimal to fraction. Questions 21 and 22, I'm going to go straight from percent to fraction. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys two different methods. So first of all, how to do from percent to to uh, decimal. I remembered decimal to fraction, I multiply by 100. So going backwards, let me divide by 100. 0 0.4 divided by 100. In reality, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to move my decimal two places to the left. Okay, I remember when I went from decimal to percent, I moved the decimal two places to the right. Because I'm going backwards, I have to move it two places to the left. So I see my decimal point there. So I, if I had to move it two places to the left, add any zeros if necessary. So my decimal to begin with will be 0 0.004. You guys see that 0 0.004. OK, so now I have to convert this into fraction. First of all, my, my fraction, my denominator would just be a four because if I ignore the decimal point, it's zero, zero, four. The zeros on the left can be ignored. So my numerator is four. Now I, I know at the bottom, I have a one with some zeros. The amount of zeros is equivalent to the decimal places. How many numbers after the decimal point? In this case, three numbers. So I have three zeros, so it's four over 1,000. Let me simplify my numbers if possible. These are even numbers, so that's cool. That's easy to deal with. Let me divide each by two. Okay, so four divided by two, basically the half of four is two. The half of 1,000 is gonna be 500. Okay, so it's easy to divide by two. Then I ask myself, can I simplify more? Yep, two and 500 are both even, so I could divide by two again. The half of two is one. The half of 500 is 250. Then I ask myself, can I simplify even more? Uh, not this case, that's it. One over 250, so my answer is one divided by 250. Let's take a look at question number 20. First of all, remember, I'm going to make this into a decimal. So my decimal point, I'm going to move it to the left. So I'm going to call this 0.72. Notice how it was, when I don't see the decimal, I assume it's at the very end. So it was after the two, move it two places to the left. So it's 0.72 or some people call 0 0.72, okay. Now, let me write this into a fraction. I'm gonna call this 72 over 100. Now, 100 because there's two zeros, right? Two numbers after the decimal point, so two zeros. And then simplify. This is an even number. These are even numbers, so I can divide by two. Again, it's not always divided by two, but let me start with dividing by two. 72 divided by 2 is 36. 100 divided by 2 is 50. Divided by 2 basically gives me the half. So that's why I start with that. That's easy to deal with. 36 and 50, let me divide by 2. Maybe that works. These are even numbers, so it will work. The half of 36 is 18. The half of 50 is 25. Um, I know 18 can be divided by 2, but not 25, because 25 is not even. 18, I can divide it by 3, but not 25. 
Um, no, I think that's it. Cannot divide anymore. So my answer is 18th over 25. So we can convert percent to decimal. And then from decimal, we go into fraction. Or we can just go from percent to fraction. To begin with, I'm going to say, let me write my my numbered as it is, 0 0.2 over. So like, like I said, as it is, let me go 0 0.2 over 10. The reason why I chose the 10 because it's only one decimal place, only one numbered after the decimal point. And then I'm like, okay, I cannot have decimals. Right? I see 0 0.2. I cannot have decimal. Oh, my bad. It's over 100. My bad. 0 0.2 over 100. Now, the reason why over 100, because percent means for every 100. That's really what percent means. Per means for every, and cent means 100. So percent means for every 100. So percent is always over 100. So I have 0 0.2 over 100. But then I'm like, I cannot have decimal places. I want to move the decimal place one place to the right. The decimal point, I want to move it one place to the right. So that's basically multiplying by 10. Let me multiply top and bottom by 10. So that's going to give me 2 over 1,000. Cool. I have no decimal, so that's good. Now simplify. Um, this one, I, they're even numbers, so I can divide by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, right? The half of 2 is 1. Now the half of 1,000 will give me 500. 1 over 500, that's good. Can I simplify more? So let's take a look at question number 22. First of all, I'm going to start by writing 50 over. Now percent is always over 100. I know before, you guys were told, oh, when your numbers end on a zero, you can cancel the zeros. That is basically dividing by 10. Remember, I'm going to divide them by something to make my numbers smaller. So in this case, let me divide by 10. So that gives me 5 over 10. When you divide by 10, basically, that's what you do. You cancel the last zero. But your numbers have to end on zeros, though. That's a trick. So when you divide by 10, you basically cancel the last zero. Okay, so I have 5 over 10. Now, I cannot divide by 2 because 5 is not even, but I can divide each by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 10 divided by 5 is 2. My answer will be 1 half.